Final fuel reserves. For reciprocating engined aircraft, the final reserve should be fuel to fly for 45 minutes. For aircraft with turbine power units, the final reserve fuel should be for 30 minutes at holding speed at 1500 feet above aerodrome level in ISA for an airplane with turbine power units. Isolated airfields. Operating to an isolated or island destination. Interpretive and explanatory material states that the inclusion in fuel at departure shall be taxi fuel, trip fuel, contingency fuel, and additional fuel not less than that for an isolated airfield reserve. For reciprocating engined aeroplanes, this is equal to the fuel required at cruising level for 45 minutes plus 15% of trip time or two hours, whichever is the least. For turbine engined aeroplanes, sufficient for flight at cruise consumption for two hours. For example, a jet aeroplane has a cruising fuel consumption of 4,060 kilograms per hour and a holding consumption of 3,690 kilograms per hour. If the destination is an isolated airfield, the aeroplane must carry in addition to contingency reserves additional fuel of 8,120 kilograms. In other words, two times the cruising fuel consumption.